So today we're going to be looking at the Sennheiser Momentum Wireless 2.0 uh, over ear headphones. Um, so these ones, as you can see, have the Bluetooth capability, um, and I'm just going to turn that on right there. Um, now I will be comparing these to the Bauer and Wilkins P7 wireless. Both of these headphones are equipped with the aptX, um, I guess you can say lossless uh, or slightly less lossy sound. Um, now when you do turn it on with these headphones, Power on. Power on. Connected. You do get a nice uh, voice and feedback. Uh, when Power off. When they're turned on and off and when they're connected. So it is a little bit nicer initially, I thought. But after uh, about a day or so, it got really annoying uh, to keep hearing her say, power on, power off, connected, disconnected, incoming call. Um, I would rather let my phone take care of that when a call comes in to announce who's calling and then turning it on and off a little tone would have been just fine uh, Which I prefer the P7 wireless on uh, or at least a way to reprogram it considering that you can connect this to a PC uh, through USB um, Now the construction and the makeup of these pads is very similar to the original piece of uh, the original momentum wireless uh, the design has pretty much stayed the same there are a few differences that I wanted to point out. The actual ear pads and uh, the space for the ear is actually a little bit bigger than the original ones. Um, so people who had an issue with uh, comfort and fit on the original should find these a little bit better. Um, battery life on this is superb. I consistently got about 21 hours or so uh, of music playback um, with noise cancellation uh, compared to the 17 listed on Bauer & Wilkins. Um, now how they managed to do this, I'm not sure considering it is lighter as well um, But it seems to work um, The case that comes with it actually I like a little bit better as well It's a zippered case that has a little pocket on the inside uh, for your accessories so attachments uh, cables, etc uh, Can go in there uh, The headphones unlike the original do fold down uh, of course uh, very similar to the p7 now um, and this makes it a little bit easier to carry a little smaller of a footprint um, when you do need to you know, travel with them or take them around with you. Um, they are very comfortable, uh, I have to say. They're much more comfortable than the P7s initially. Um, after you wearing in the P7s a little bit, I would still say that the momentums are more comfortable uh, and that the noise cancellation on these is actually very good. Um, I've used the Bose QC uh, 25s and I've got the Sony uh, noise cancellation headphones um, and as these aren't better than the Bose they are definitely better than the Sony noise cancellation however a few things about that though you cannot turn the noise cancellation off um, so I didn't really like that when I you know didn't have much background noise to work with um, there wasn't much of a hiss I was expecting um, but it was weird because at times you could hear it so that may just be interference um, from other electronic devices around. Um, the headphones themselves are very well made, uh, very minimalistic. The top is leather covered um, underneath a, I believe it's either aluminum or stainless steel band. Um, and it looks nice. It's a very classy looking um, old school type of headphone look. Um, and they are much lighter so they are easier to walk around with. Uh, and don't move around on your head as much. Now sound quality wise, I did not like them. Um, they just were not on par with the Bauer and Wilkins. Uh, sound clarity, uh, instrument separation was good, um, but there was just too much bass, I felt, um, in comparison when you were using wireless and wired, um, and not something that I wanted to deal with with uh, equalizers. Um, so in that case, uh, the P7 wireless do have the edge. Uh, even in the case itself, uh, the P7 wireless case, when you have them in there, uh, actually takes up a little bit less space and looks a little bit smaller compared to the Sennheisers. Um, so I'm not sure how they managed to do that because the headphones themselves are about the same size uh, as you can see. Um, the shape is also a little bit different. Um, of course, you're going square versus oval. 
um, the Barrel Roken P7, um, you angle the headband on your head to get them to align with your ears and the square should fit around your ear pretty comfortably. Um, with the Sennheiser Momentum Wireless 2.0, uh, they're actually a little bit oval shaped and have a pad that's a little bit thicker on the back of them uh, versus the front. Um, and that actually helps for sitting on your head a little bit more comfortably and it has a little bit more play than it did on the original Momentums and Sennheisers. Um, now as far as uh, which ones, if you've got a really large head, you may want to consider the Momentums because they seem to accommodate for a little bit larger uh, head. Now, if you're gonna, me personally, I prefer the P7 wireless headphones for sound quality and looks. Um, they both look nice, they're very good looking headphones. Um, the P7 wireless just has a little bit more classy look to it, uh, but the Sennheimer Momentum are great headphones. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, post them below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.